In this video, we are going to learn about Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that for an inviscid flow of non-conducting fluid, such as air or water, an increase in the speed of the fluid occurs simultaneously with a decrease in pressure or a decrease in the fluid's potential energy. In other words, the faster the fluid flows, the lower the pressure it exerts. This is one of the main principles behind how airplanes fly. You can do a simple experiment to demonstrate Bernoulli's principle by holding two pieces of paper between your hands and blowing air between the gaps. Notice that the papers come together when air is being blown through the gap. This is because air particles in between the papers are moving faster than those on the opposite sides of the paper, creating a region of low pressure in the middle and high pressure outside. This causes the high pressure air on the outside to push on the paper and make them come together as air always travels from region of high pressure to a region of low pressure. You can also observe this principle by pinching a water hose. By pinching the hose, you narrow back of the fluid flow, which speeds up the molecules and lowers the pressure exerted by the fluid in the narrower part of the hose. This causes the water to shoot out from the end of the hose at a higher speed. The wing of an aircraft works in the same principle. The wing of an aircraft is shaped and tilted so that the air moving over it travels faster than the air moving underneath. When moving air flows over an object and encounters an obstacle, such as a bump or a sudden increase in the wing angle, its path narrows and the flow speeds up as all the molecules rush through the narrow path. This causes pressure on the underside of the wing to be higher than the upper side, creating lift. So next time when you water your plants with a hose or travel in the plane, think about Bernoulli's principle. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand more about Bernoulli's principle from this video.